in the grips of a pandemic that has gutted travel, entertainment and hospitalities around uh, industries around the world. But the city is saying it's time to bounce back. Uh, let's speak now uh, to the mayoral uh, committee member for economic opportunities. Uh, that's James Foss on the line. Mr. Foss, thank you very much. I understand the Table Mountain Cableway opened today, but then the, the weather was bad. I mean, is that uh, symbolic of, of the struggle it will be to restart this engine of, of tourism in Cape Certainly not. Cape Town is heavily reliant on the tourism economy and restarting these services is vital to our recovery. And so today, a number of key tourism attractions opened up. Another site, the iconic Table Mountain Cableway, also reopened. Uh, last month, the city site scene uh, started with the famous Red Bus Tours, as well as the Two Oceans Aquarium. And all of this is to mark the start of Tourism Month, together with our city's official destination marketing organization, Cape Town Tourism. And we've come up with a tourism bounce-back strategy, which really speaks to those uh, sectors that underpin tourism as an industry, from food and beverage, places of entertainment, accommodation, transportation, and so on. So it's all about business retention and expansion, workforce development, as well as enhance investment into the hospitality uh, sector. Because tourism remains a priority sector for the city, and we will have a strong focus on destination management, as well as our domestic tourism. Uh, of course, it is important to start preparing for our international visitors. And so for that reason, we are lobbying national government to open our international travel as soon as possible. We've also requested that uh, national government play open cards with the public and share with us the timelines and as well as the early indicators as to when international travel will open again. Because yeah. we, need, we need this information uh, to inform our plans... Yeah. Uh, international travel is, is very important. Uh, you, you were seeing a lot of tourists coming in from overseas. Um, so, so you're lobbying for that, uh, but any concern uh, about the second um, wave that that's, we've seen in other countries? Well, we're mindful of, of the international uh, best practices. And for that reason, we must make sure that all of our uh, COVID-19 health protocols are strictly adhered to. Um, so, you know, uh, at the end of the day, we need to be responsible and responsive. And so whilst we are working closely with our international key source markets, um, we're also speaking to airlines, our destinations around the world, because we need to make sure that we rekindle those connections globally, because Cape Town is a very important uh, uh, tourism destination on the African continent mm. uh, for the mice industry, meetings, incentives, conferences, events for leisure tourism and business tourism. So we need to get those international connections up and running and ensuring that our state of readiness as a destination is, um, is uh, you know, prepared um, so that right. we can be a safe and healthy destination. But there's going to be a strong focus on domestic tourism. So we don't want to compromise on our quality. We want to make sure that uh, Cape Town is top of mind also for domestic tourism. And so that is why the department has introduced a six-pillar strategy mm -hmm. that specifically speaks to six key themes around study, visit, live, work, invest and play. Yeah. Those are the strategic outcomes that so, we will work towards. So Mr. Fuss, uh, top of mind means marketing. Are you right now marketing um, locally? Or are you trying to appeal to all South Africans uh, who don't live in Cape Town to head there? Or are you already uh, looking at marketing in those overseas uh, destinations where we get a lot of our international travelers from? Well, okay, firstly, you know, we've got a couple of key source markets um, around the world. So we want to make sure that we can get those connections back up and running because we've invested a lot of time and effort and money in terms of marketing um, in those destinations. Of course, it's uncertain. So we need to look at new um, markets that will emerge. So we're also uh, very uh, much paying attention to those uh, emergence of new markets. What is the research telling us? And then in the domestic space, Space. We recognize that affordability is stops. And so we pride ourselves not only being accessible, but also affordable. So we've got a couple of campaigns that will speak to the local audience, as well as the domestic audience and a regional audience. 
Because remember, we've received a lot of visitors from the neighboring countries and from elsewhere in the continent. So we've yes. got a regional focus, but certainly domestic. You know, the, the, the flight route between Cape Town and Johannesburg is the 11th busiest route, um, according to data, the aviation data. So it makes sense for us to market Cape Town domestically so that we become the preferred yes. destination from a domestic uh, perspective, but okay. also local. So together with Cape Town Tourism, we've compiled a list of 50 things to do for under 50 rand, which is aimed at our local Cape Townians. So it's not to compromise quality, but to provide an opportunity for locals also to explore the mother city and to stimulate the local economy. Okay, so interesting what you can do for 50 rand. We're running out of time, so please be quick on this one. Uh, but mm. Cape Town has been voted the, the best city in the world, uh, not just a few times. But, but overall, there's a, a problem of confidence in the country. We know it's affecting investment, um, recently concerns about corruption. Uh, so, so in that context, can Cape Town still attract uh, the same foreign spend when, when things are, are up and running? Or, or is our national image um, a, a big challenge? challenge for you right now? Yes, it is an important question because we are obviously uh, competing with many other cities and destinations around the world. And so obviously the national uh, you know, dominance has some uh, effect on what we do. But as a city of Cape Town, we work around the clock with our international partners and uh, those on the continent to continue marketing Cape Town uh, in a way that is responsive and responsible so that we can cut through the noise and reach those target audiences and get uh, double-digit growth coming back. Uh, this uh, sector employs roughly 150,000 people in our city, generated uh, last year more than, what, 1.8 billion rand to our economy. So it's a very important sector for us. So we're going to work incredibly hard to get those double digits coming back. The aviation sector, the cruise liners, those are the key things that we are looking at. Obviously, when it's safe to travel, but... Um, you're making a good point, and it's important for us to, to continuously work around our investment value proposition so that we position our city as the go-to city on the continent for trade and travel. All right. So it's bums on seats, but also boxes in the belly as we start exporting Cape Town products into the world. All right. So that's why it forms part of our economic action plan. All right, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much. Cape Town Mayoral Committee Member for Economic Opportunities, James Foss.